What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. In anticipation of the multiple new heroes coming in Overwatch 2, today's video is going to be a lightning round of characters who might one day join the playable roster. We've only got 10 minutes, so starting things off, the Junker Queen is arguably the biggest and longest running fan favorite new hero candidate. Ever since we first heard her voice in the Junkertown trailer back in 2017, players have speculated endlessly on how she might work as a hero in game. Being a former mech fighting champion who carries a a massive axe, there have been countless fan theories and concepts over the years exploring what sort of kit and abilities she might possess. And while Blizzard has yet to officially confirm her as an upcoming playable hero, there has been some strong evidence pointing towards her eventual addition. Back in 2021, we saw what appears to be a first-person player model for the Queen hidden among the many clips shown during BlizzCon line, and there's even been an incredibly suspicious leak which supposedly reveals the kit and abilities she'll have in Overwatch. Too. But even aside from just these leaked details, the Queen's very design just begs for her to be added as a playable hero. This tough wasteland leader wields a fierce weapon and powerful presence, which makes her easily one of the most likely candidates going forward to be a hero in Overwatch 2. And speaking of fierce, our next candidate is another longtime fan favorite, Mauga. Mauga is a monstrous Talon soldier who won't hesitate to brutally slay any opposition in his path. Described as wielding dual machine guns and a barrier, he seems to take sadistic pleasure in carrying out his violent missions, thus making him a very intimidating character who'd fit right at home alongside the game's other villains. Interestingly, it was actually mentioned by now former Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan that Mauga was at one point in development to become a playable hero, but that his kit ultimately ended up getting recycled into the Talon tank hero Sigma. And while it's currently unknown whether Blizzard ever continued development on Mauga after this, the fact that he possesses such a powerful character design and has become a massive fan favorite in the community certainly indicates that there's a very real chance for us to still one day see him join the roster in Overwatch 2. Shifting tracks a bit though, our next new hero candidate has thus far been much more subtle and mysterious than the previous two. Despite us not even having so much as a single low-res image of her, the Kanasaka Fox Girl is easily one of the most intriguing and likely new heroes coming to Overwatch 2. First teased in late 2020 alongside the release of the Kanazaka Deathmatch map, this unnamed daughter of Asa and Toshiro Yamagami is known to possess some kind of unique bladed weapon, as well as a connection to the spirits and the local Inari Fox Shrine. Curiously enough, there was an article published by a Game Informer journalist all the way back in 2019 which described the silhouette of an upcoming Overwatch hero that sounds shockingly similar to the character being teased in Kanazaka. Described as a short-haired female wielding a large shuriken-like weapon with a small fox-like creature by her side, the description of this character corresponds perfectly with the details officially indicated by Blizzard more than a year later. And because of this evidence, it seems extremely likely at this point that this unnamed Kanazaka Fox Girl character will one day join the roster in Overwatch 2. Next up, we have Maximilian. Max is certainly one of the more well-known hero candidates at this point, as not only has he been an established character in the Overwatch story for years, but we've even seen him both animated and fully voiced in the Storm Rising mission cinematics. This suave Omnic accountant handles the finances behind Talon and helps fund the shadowy organization by laundering money through various means across the globe. However, despite him holding a seat on Talon's inner council, his true allegiance is ultimately to himself, as he was willing to sell out Doomfist in a heartbeat in exchange for his own safety. Because of this, friction between these two criminal powerhouses seems inevitable, and certainly could result in some interesting developments for both characters going forward. However, despite his importance to the story, the biggest thing working against Maximilian being a future hero is that he is effectively the definition of a non-combatant. He excels at strategy and planning, but is completely lacking in physical capability and combat experience, which makes it difficult to envision him bringing any real value to a battlefield. He isn't totally without options, however, so only time will tell if this calculating yet meager Omnic eventually finds his way onto the playable roster. The next new hero candidate is another no-name, and while the community has bestowed a few different titles on him thus far, he's perhaps best known as simply the Storm Rising Omnic. Seen speaking to Doomfist in the final Storm Rising mission cinematic, very little is known about this character other than that he has some sort of affiliation with Talon. However, based on his visual design, it's extremely likely that he's a representative of Null Sector, as he shares the same color scheme and visual design as some of their units. While nothing is known of his combat capabilities, the 
biggest indicator of him being a new hero candidate is his implied significance to the Overwatch 2 story. With Null Sector being the primary opposition in the PvE story missions, this mysterious character is likely to play a crucial role in the Omnic extremist group's rise to power, and may even serve as a bridge between them and their Talon puppeteers. Overall, he's a very intriguing candidate, and would bring some much needed Null Sector representation to the playable roster. Looking now at a group of characters, next up we have D.Va's fellow pilots from Mecha Squad. While there's currently four non-playable pilots in Mecha Squad, I'm only going to really focus on two of them in this video, as they're the ones who stick out as the most interesting and most likely in terms of being upcoming heroes, with the first one being Demon. Demon is by far the biggest fan favorite hero candidate from Mecha Squad, for reasons which you may find to be self-evident, and on top of this, she certainly has one of the more unique and interesting of the team's Mech designs. Nicknamed Beast, this colossal machine wields an energy sword and barrier, indicating that it's likely more than capable of engaging in close quarters melee combat. And while this design may at first seem a bit redundant when compared to existing tank heroes like Reinhardt, there's certainly a number of ways Blizzard could mix up Demon's kit to help her stand out as a unique and interesting hero. The other Mecha Squad hero of note, though, is Overlord. Being the youngest of the group, Overlord was a former pro StarCraft player, and his skill set from that game has evidently carried over into his capabilities as a pilot. Nicknamed Mastermind, his mech appears to serve primarily as a drone commander for the purpose of healing and repairing his damaged teammates. While these drones may actually possess any number of different functions, they themselves are what makes Overlord stand out so much among the ranks of Mecha Squad. No Overwatch hero thus far really utilizes drones as part of their kit, so Overlord feels like he could easily end up introducing some pretty unique and powerful mechanics if he were to join the roster in Overwatch 2. But considering now another character who's long existed in the background of Overwatch, next up we have Sanjay Corporal. Serving primarily as a Vishkar official and mentor to Symmetra, this morally dubious Corpo ruthlessly advances his employer's vision no matter the cost. As a powerful diplomat, Sanjay excels at corporate negotiations and overall possesses a clinical pragmatic view of the world and those living in it. But if even this wasn't grim enough, he's also seen having a seat on Talon's inner council, thus suggesting that his true goals and agenda may run much deeper than the company he publicly works for. Much like Maximilian though, the biggest issue facing Sanjay as a possible new hero is his status as a non-combatant. He excels at business dealings, with violence serving as only an absolute last resort when a more diplomatic approach proves impossible. However, considering the limitless potential of Vishkar's hard light technology, it's not hard to imagine any number of hero abilities and mechanics which could make use of this even beyond the kit Symmetra currently has in game. So it's possible that one day we'll end up seeing Sanjay utilize such tools as a playable hero in Overwatch 2. Looking now at a relative newcomer to the list of hero candidates, next up is Zephyrus the Gladiator. Seen in multiple images across the Overwatch 2 map Colosseo, Zephyrus appears to be a human-controlled robot gladiator who's currently fighting in the Roman Colosseum. While little is known about his identity or abilities, we can see him wielding dual swords while also wearing armor and wings reminiscent of the historical Polish winged Hussar cavalry. On top of this, his name, Zephyrus, is a reference to a Greek wind god, which could suggest that he possesses some form of air or wind-based abilities. However, despite his cool gladiator design and the intriguing premise of him being a human-controlled robot fighter, not much is known about Zephyrus beyond this. There have indeed been a handful of instances where a hero was preemptively teased in the artwork on a given map, but there are many more who've only ever remained just that. So while Zephyrus certainly offers some potential as a hero in Overwatch 2, only time will tell whether he ends up being one of those images that ends up becoming a playable hero. But moving on to our final new hero candidate, we have Dr. Hamid Faisal. While once again being a character whose face we have yet to actually see, Faisal's name appears multiple times across the game in external media. Currently residing in the Petra Deathmatch map, Dr. Faisal is part of a team of archaeologists who are actively performing excavations in places like Petra, Ilios, and Ayutea. And while their work seems to be rooted in the desire to preserve these historical sites, the fact that they're funded by a wealthy anonymous benefactor and many of the artifacts they're excavating end up in the possession of Talon operatives paints a rather shadowy picture of what might actually be going on here. However, it's possible that Faisal and the other archaeologists are actually being tricked by Talon into unearthing valuable treasures for them 
given that it was indicated in Anna's short story from 2019 that she not only personally knows, but also trusts Dr. Faisal when considering where to send the artifacts found in the necropolis. So all this seems to be building up to a possible Overwatch 2 story arc, where perhaps Faisal realizes who exactly has been funding his work all these years and stands up in defiance of them. Now, admittedly, Hamid Faisal falls into the similar trap of other characters I've talked about, where he isn't necessarily someone who possesses any combat capabilities, but given his status as an archaeologist, it isn't too hard to imagine Blizzard having a little fun with the character and possibly pushing him in the more adventurous direction of characters like Indiana Jones. Once again, only time will tell, but Dr. Faisal at the very least has some interesting potential as a new hero in Overwatch 2. And that's 10 Overwatch 2 new hero candidates in 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which heroes you want to see join the roster by leaving a comment down below. As always, I love to hear from you, and be sure to check out my other videos on new Overwatch heroes linked in the playlist on screen. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who helped make these videos possible. You all are the real MVPs. And otherwise, this is Master EN Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.